When we are making something in a computer game, like the more organic and imperfect and real, or real we can make it, it's usually by making it not perfect, right? My name is Kasper Wermuth and I'm the lead environment artist of the Settlers team. My job at its core is to be a bridge between game design and our art direction that has been set by Edgar. So for everything that isn't alive in the game, for all our environments and buildings and every, everything that's static, my job is to make sure that we hit the art direction as well as possible while also following all the requirements from a game design perspective. Most people think of a forest being there is a bunch of trees, but there's so much more that happens, right? Because there is a lot of trees, yeah, the ground looks completely different, right? So even if you remove the entire forest, like all the like trees on the forest, right? You will still have this, right? Of fallen branches or different kind of leaves, and of course the leaves depend on what kind of trees that were here. So it's a different kind of color, a different kind of shape. So because it's important for the player to to read what's going on, um, actually the eye sees mostly. Uh, values, that's the strongest contrast we see, like in, in how, how bright or how dark it is, black or white. So what we do is, is more color variation or what's called a hue. So if you look at those leaves, for example, we don't just make the whole forest green because that will make it look plastic and empty. There are also many assets that we create that are not directly related to the gameplay. So that is not a building or a deposit or something else that the player interacts with, but are just you know, grass and trees and whatever else we do to build the whole world around it. And those assets are made almost like small puzzle pieces. So we make a few trees, a few pieces of grass, like a little, yeah, a little set, if you will, that we then pass on to the next department that comes after us called Level Art, that then uses those pieces to build the whole world that you know as a player and that you play in. All, all my work is on observation or communication or planning, like all of it is, is a stuff that I just need to think for. So it's important for me to also do something physical. We're here in the gym because I need to find some kind of balance in, in my life. My, my job is purely something where I use my, my mind all the time, but it's an office job. So uh, I just need to do something physical. It's just a good way to excel, like just shut down the brain completely. Like it's a good compensation or a balance from the office, right? To just come here and, and it's purely physical with no excuses, no teammates to blame, like nothing. The only one to blame if I fail it is me. <laughs> Mentally, I don't know. I think, I think it helped me after I started going to the gym in the morning. Like if you've been doing a heavy ass squat, going to a bad meeting afterwards is just so much easier. Right? <laughs> Often when we sit here and, and we, we get a little bit of a tunnel vision, we focus only on the game and you know what, what pops out to us. And sometimes something can feel a bit off or just not right without anyone really being able to pinpoint why. For example, a recent topic we had was, was the forests in, in the game that just didn't really feel like foresty enough. It felt more like a garden. And we started talking about like, what is the difference actually? Why does it look like a garden and not like a forest? And in one of the recent trips I had when I was just walking around in the, in the forests uh, to in one of the regions. I think that the, the real world is inherently imperfect and we try to be perfect, right? And then a computer is the opposite. When we are making something in a computer game, like the more organic and imperfect and real, or real we can make it, it's usually by making it not perfect. So we need to make sure that the player understands the world. It's always very important that art serves game design and that the world is understandable from a game perspective. We're not just making a, a pretty movie, right? So it has many different iterations in that. And my job there is then to find a good of a balance as possible between game design and art and kind of bring that together. Mm -hmm.